represent the momentum of allowing the entire world and all of its inhabitants have been contributing to this vortex and so the growth and the expansion and the potential for such has been happening all along but what you represent is a deliberate discovery of reception of the things that have been being asked for for a long time so that's why we call it the time of awakening or the time of reawakening the time of finally consciously not just accidentally stumbling into a good mood and getting a flash of enlightenment that lasts only three days but a conscientious awareness of how it all works and a deliberate application of the skills that I possess in order to hold myself consistently so that momentum can ensue so that I can track so that it's chartable and trackable so that I can watch my mood translate into manifestations and know for sure that worthy me worthy deliberate creator me has accomplished this just like I intended when I decided to come there is so much more to the vehicle that is moving you through life than this vehicle, this car that you are thinking is transporting you to one place or another. And there is so much more to your guidance than this Waze or Magellan or Garmin or whatever the navigational system is that you're using. There's so much more to your guidance system than there are these physical things or contraptions that you're using to guide you. With all of that, the reason that you kept knowing that everything is all right, that the vehicle doesn't really matter because there'll always be another, there's always another way to get to wherever I'm wanting to be and that the navigational system doesn't even matter because there's always a way to know because things are always working out for you there always is another way the guidance that you're seeking is not where most of you are looking you see you drag so much stuff around with you Esther practically lives out of a suitcase and each trip her suitcase weighs just slightly more than it did the trip before until it reaches a sort of breaking point where no one is willing to pick it up every time her bag comes back it has the heavy tag on it because it is heavy and so what we're getting at is as you release the feeling that you need to for a sense of security drag all this stuff with you and instead you accept yourself as this being who is moving through space and time with resources that are coming to you from a non-physical level that can be translated moment by moment as you need them then you are truly free the more you drag around the more you enhance your sense of vulnerability we're speaking specifically and directly to you this is what you've been trying to say for a long time I don't have to justify my well-being by what I'm dragging around because whatever I need whenever I need it will appear before me and while that made a lot of you feel insecure Esther even in the middle of the conversation is thinking no Abraham I'm not giving up that or that or that or that or that I really like this stuff that I'm dragging around with me but we want you to feel the freedom in accepting your right place and right time in the universe and the resourcefulness that the universe has in yielding to you whatever you need whenever you need it whatever you want whenever you want it and so feel the freedom in that the security in that that's really what we want you to practice and so as we are feeling around in this room as we make that statement there are some things that you do for the sake of stability and security that hold you apart from the adventure that you really want and the adventure is the newness and so this is the assuredness that we want to give you this puts it all together in a way that you can feel confident and comfortable and secure while you are in your adventurous out here on the leading edge state of mind now this is how it all fits together through life you came you didn't know too much there were those around you your beautiful parents who guided you as best they could and through it all you managed to create a vibrational reality that is to die for and when you do you'll know what we mean <laughs> it is this environment of well-being with details beyond verbal description so here is this reality that you are allowing yourself to realize a little more and a little more and a little more all the time as this reality exists it exists in perfection and everything has been worked out all the conflicts have been worked out because everyone gets what they want all the shortage has been worked out because no one is ever deprived of anything when someone else receives it it is endless in its expansion everything that humans worry about is non-existent in this vortex 
everything that you want, all the solutions to everything, all the expansion about everything, it already exists, you see. It's all been worked out. So as you get into the receptive mode and you allow yourself then to be on your journey, not worrying about whether your vehicle is solid or stable, not worrying about whether your phone will stay charged enough that the maps application can give you the route that you need, but instead trusting that everything always works out for you. You allow this vortex to yield to you what you want, when you want it, what you need, when you need it. And it's the way that you intended to go through life. Did you notice you didn't bring any of that stuff with you when you came? Now, don't misunderstand us. We're not trying to get you to lighten your load and give everything away. We're not trying to get you to let loose of the things that are important to you. In fact, the opposite is what our message is to you. But we do want you to understand that the stability that you're looking for doesn't lie in the physical things that you've been giving it the credit of. And so since you're sifting this out, since you're sorting this out, since you're wanting to demonstrate this, then you are sort of in a little minor, won't last too long, phase of destroying the things around you that most people are looking at the reason for stability while you still find stability where it's really coming from. Now, you don't have to do that. You can drive the most dynamic, awesome car that has ever been created and still be in vibrational alignment with your source energy. You do not have to get rid of the physical stability. This is the thing that we want you to hear. Don't need it to be stable. Be stable and then let it show itself to you as evidence of your stability. That's the biggest discernment that we want you to hear and we've talked about that already here. And so a sort of rejecting of what the world thinks. There are so many people that want abundance but condemn it. And the reason that so many condemn it is because it feels like not enough have it. And so they're mad at those that do have it by condemning those that do have it and not even realizing that they're preventing themselves from receiving the very abundance that already is lined up for them. So everything that we've been talking about in all these hours that we've been together today, all that we ever talk about ever, is that you came into this time-space reality knowing that it in its wholeness, in its diversity, in its differences provides the basis for you as a selfishly focused, you got to be that because it's all you've got, individual to receive from it whatever it is you are wanting whenever you are wanting. And if you can just for a little while, just for a day or two or three or four or five or ten or twenty, just for a little while, if just for a little while, following this conversation, you can not look to the action manifested stability that you have around you. We're talking about your house, your home, your relationships, your money, your bank account. If just for a little while, you can just set that aside and let it be whatever it be. While you look to your true stability, which is your alignment with source, and in doing so, you accept the perfection of what's in this vortex. You're going to experience that sweet spot that we've been talking about, where things just keep showing up for you when you want them. Jerry took Esther when they were first married on a almost month long river ride in Montana. And they had a motor home that they towed a car behind and they had a rubber raft that they had on top of the car and they would drive way 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 upstream and leave one vehicle downstream and one vehicle upstream and then they would float all day down the river back to the vehicle and as they spent that time on the river jerry was an avid fly fisherman it's what he liked more than anything and he would take his rod and his creel and he would get into one of these mountain streams and Esther would watch him from a distance and he would just run up the river. And she would say, how do you do that? Are you walking on water? She couldn't understand. And he said, there's always a rock for me to put my foot on. He said, come with me, I'll show you. Well, there was not always a rock for Esther to put her foot on. 
She got so wet and so cold so often, bruised her ankles and her knees, slippery, slimy rocks. How is he doing that? But he had been doing it for so long, he knew, he was just confident that when he decided to go, there was always going to be a rock for him to put his foot on. And this is the thing that we want you to show yourself, that this vortex is abundant with everything that you want. But more than that, more than that, there is a very defined, very clearly designed, very much understood path of least resistance known by your inner being. We say the path of least resistance because your inner being knows where all the resistant pieces are that you've been laying along your trail. And if you will get into a more trusting place, your inner being will guide you around that resistance to the things that you're really wanting to experience. And so we know this has been a long way of getting around to the fact that you can be or do or have anything that you want. And while you think that it's one thing, or another thing or a lot of things in terms of manifestation what it really is is to be in that sweet spot where you know that all is well with you and if you can think it it will deliver itself to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment you get into those little rivers where that happens to you you have those experiences where you know it we want you to get into the place where you know it all day every day where every single person and every single conversation and every single thing that you witness you accept it as the gift that you have been asking for that is doing one of two things it's either contributing to your vortex or it's contributing to your alignment in other words it's either helping you with step one or it's helping you with step three and both are necessary for the constant joyous evolution and expansion that you've all come here for the basis of your life is absolute freedom no one can vibrate for you the result of your life is never-ending growth and expansion you are eternal beings you're not ever going to shut that down you're never going to stop being you see but if you will let your quest what matters to you most if you will turn your sights upon how you feel if you will care about the joyous aspect of this if you will care about being happy if you will let being happy be more important than being right if you let being happy be more important than owning something right now or being with someone right now if you let just being happy in this moment if you will let that be your dominant quest it is our promise to you that it won't take long before you will find the universe unfolding for you in ways that you cannot deny how blessed you are how fortunate you are and how much the object of attention you are by source energy who is well aware of you and where you stand right now we offer too many words we do we offer too many words and in doing so we cause you to be too thoughtful about it or too intellectual about it or too busy about it if we were standing in your physical shoes we would think right now of the things that you most enjoy doing we would start serving your happiness first and everything that is responsible will fill in around it service your happiness first and everything that matters will fill in around it